Okay, demonstration on how to make a class notebook through Teams. So just to give you some background, I've made this year nine test class. We've got a couple of uh, dummy pupils inside it and you'll see that in a wee while their names. And so to create a class notebook for the first time, you've got two options. You can go up here to class notebook or you can go here if this is available where it says set up class notebook. Obviously, if I do that just now and I click on that icon, you uh, might need to have a bit of patience at this point while this sets up. If this starts to take a little bit of time, I will pause the video. But here we go. We've got a set up OneNote class notebook here. And I press that. You've got two options. You've got a blank notebook or um, from existing notebook content. Now, I'm going to go with blank notebook because my guess is if you've needed to know how to set a class notebook, you've never done it before. So I'm going to click on a blank notebook. And it gives you these instructions here with your class notebook. You have three areas. You've got a collaboration space where both the teacher and the student can add and edit content. You've got a content library where teachers can then put resources, notes, and um, their um, work for the pupils that they can, uh, students can only view. You can edit this content whenever you want, but students can go there and they can only look at it. They can take copies of it but they cannot make any changes inside that um, section. Then you have the individual student notebooks, which is, in a sense, their digital exercise book. A private space for each student that says, you can edit, the student can edit, but the key part about this, and I'll show you the views in a second, is that a student will not see anyone else's exercise books. You will see each of their notebooks, but a student only sees their own. I click on Next. Here, at this point, is where you um, make up the names of the tabs. Now, I'm going to leave it as it is for this purpose, but bearing in mind, just to show you, you can make the changes, you can add new ones if you need to. I will show you an example of where I've done it with another class later in the lesson, but I'm gonna just for this example, leave it as it is. So this is gonna have four tabs for every student. Bear in mind, you can make as many as you want, one for each chapter, perhaps, or, and obviously you can uh, change the names of the individual ones here. But for this purpose, I'm going to leave it as they are. So I click on create. Now it says getting your class notebook ready. So at this point, I'm gonna pause the video until it's ready and then restart when it's there just to save a bit of time. Okay, so it's now just appeared and this class notebook, as you can see, is embedded inside the Teams. Now this is a way you can do it, obviously, if you're working online. Uh, my preference is to actually use the OneNote app, however, on your uh, computer. So I'm going to show you this way. So there's the two options you can go to is obviously you go open in browser or you can open in app. Now I would rather, as a teacher, have the OneNote app open. So I open that up and it says we're opening this in Microsoft OneNote. Now from my history, I found this doesn't always work. In this case, it says all done, you can close this file now, but you can see nothing's happened. So my advice at this point is to click on that cross and go to your OneNote and open that up. And then you need to go to here and down to more notebooks. And when you click on more notebooks, it should be there. It's now been created and the fact that you've created it inside Teams means that you're able to do it. So I click on there and I go open. Again, this is a time where you do need to be patient. Remember, this is creating this from scratch. It can take a bit of time uh, it's all doing it online. So again, I'm gonna pause the video while it does this. As you can see, it's moved to the next screen where it's loading, but I'm gonna pause until it's completely finished. Okay, I've uh, just brought this back now. I would say that probably took around 90 seconds to two minutes to get to where we are here. And now I'm just gonna kind of go through the kind of basics of where we are. So you have a welcome page, a welcome tab, where it kind of gives you a little bit more instruction on exactly what it is. There's lots of information online about OneNote. So don't hesitate to learn more um, other than just this video. And um, again, if we go back to what we heard before, you've got the collaboration space, and again, instructions on how to use that. You'll notice it's loading. It's what this is doing. It's, it's downloading from uh, the cloud onto your computer. So this is why this is happening this time. The first time it does take a little bit longer. Again, it gives you a few hints on tips on how to use the collaboration space. Bearing in mind that both the pupil and you can edit and add in this section. The content library, again, instructions on how to use that when it loads up. But as I said before, this is an area where you can add work and 
they can see it, but they can do nothing with it other than uh, take it from you or view it. They cannot edit. Then after that, we have our individual pupils. Now, this is a very small class, three uh, kids, Jane, Joe, and John blogs, and notice the tabs that were created. There's nothing inside these tabs as of yet. These are now, they are empty exercise books, and I'm gonna show you a few tips on how to keep these organized in a second. So one of the other things I would add as a teacher is you've got the collaboration space, you've got the content library, you've got their books, but you can actually add a teacher only section, which is a bit that you can add resources to be used at a later date. And it's locked from the kids. They don't even know it's there. And I'll show you that in a second. But to make the teacher only section, you have to go up to here where it says manage notebooks. And if I click on that, it then opens up this here. So uh, you come to select a notebook to manage. And if I go back to this tab, it will show me the manage year nine where I can enable the teacher only section group. Again, first time we're doing this, it does take a little bit of time, so we need to have that patience. It's enabled, but it might take a couple of minutes before your OneNote is done. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna now show you the pupil side and how it looks for them. So what the pupil needs to do is it needs to go to Teams, he or she needs to go to Teams, and then they go to class notebook and they're doing the same thing you did and going to download it so they have access to it. So again, this can take a little bit of time. I'm going to pause the video until it's ready. Okay, so again, it looks very similar to what you saw on the teacher's side. And again, I would always advise they open in the app. I'm not going to open in the app right now, as you can imagine, because I'm on the same computer, so I can't do that. So for this example, I'm gonna open it in OneNote online so to do that i click on open in OneNote, and i'm now getting a new tab where this is going to take a little bit of time again for this to um to load up so you can see it's starting to load up an online version of jane's notebook and we can see the slight differences between the teacher side and jane's a collaboration space a content library yes but there's no joe and there's no john only Jane, because Jane can only see her work. So that's, at this point, the student's side. So I'm gonna pause the video and ensure that the teacher only section has been added, and then I will continue. Okay, it took a couple of minutes, and then actually, in fact, the thing I did was I shut down OneNote and reopened it, and now we have a new tab. You can see collaboration space, content library, my three students and most importantly now have a teacher only section which will not appear in Jane's. So I'll give you an example of the sort of things I would do. So uh, spreadsheets, I'm going to create a some work on spreadsheets. This is inside the teacher uh, only section I think, yes. Okay, if I If I go delete there, and then if I go add a page, sorry about that, if I add a page, I go to there, I go spreadsheets. This is inside the teacher only section. If I come out of there and go to here, you can see it's now gone. But if I go into the teacher only section, it is now there. So I have that side of things. There is obviously options to add sections and add pages. If I wanted to add another page, I can do so. Maybe thinking about my next lesson, lesson spreadsheets two. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna start thinking about what do I need for my lesson. So I'd maybe want to um, give them some instructions. Complete the following tasks using the word document for instruction. I'm trying to keep this very simple. Obviously, you'll have your own way of doing this. And the Excel file attached. So, again, this is something you'd maybe, now we're using Teams, you would give these instructions inside Teams as well. Um, so how do I add these, uh, these files? Well, you can go to Insert, and you go File, 
which is a very easy way to do it. Or you can drag and drop. I have them have this open already. So if I was to take this one and then head down to my OneNote and obviously bring it back up, it gives me three options. I'm going to insert it as an attachment. So that's the, the document there, which they can now open themselves. And I'll sh show you that if I double click on it, it opens up here. Okay, so they'll be able to do the same. I um, can then add a uh, the Word document that relates. So I'm going to bring that over. Do the same thing. Insert as an attachment. So I now have the Word document where the instructions of what they need to do to complete that task. And they can open both them up on their computers. One of the other things you can actually do is direct is print directly to OneNote, which is obviously a very good way of saving photocopying, saving paper, etc. And I'm going to show you an example of that as well. So if I just have a cursor ready, have where I want to print to ready, and then go to the document I want to open. So I'm just going to choose another one of these Word documents. Let's open up this one. And I then go I get rid of this for a minute, sorry. I go to File, and I go to Print. Now, instead of printing to a printer, you would choose OneNote. Not OneNote 6 2016, OneNote. So I click on that. Again, my advice, have it ready in OneNote where exactly you want to put it. Because then, when you press Print, you'll then have the orange flashing down here. And the easy one is you've got you can navigate where you want to send it, but location in current notebook, spreadsheets, okay. And then it is printed that Word document into the OneNote. Meaning I've now could distribute that to all my students and I've saved myself uh, all that paper, especially if you've got a big class. So how do I distribute that to students? So to do that. Um, what I need to do is I need to just make sure I'm on the right one and then I go to class notebook and then I go to distribute page. Once I've uh, done that, I click down to distribute page and on the right hand side, it brings up this option here. And I need to decide where I want to put it. Now, if I was to show you an example of my other year nine class, for example, um, I have got all the, the tabs related to their actual topics. So I have an Excel or a spreadsheets chat one there. So that's where I would obviously put it. As you can see, I haven't done that for this example, but I'm obviously going to need to choose a place to put it. So I'm just going to go to handouts. I'm going to click handouts and press distribute. Now, it can take a little bit of time, depending on how big your class is. So I'm going to pause it while it happens. It will take a couple of minutes, but it's now going to send this page to the pupil's exercise book. So I'm just going to pause again. Okay, resuming the video, you can see that it's done. The whole thing has happened. I can close that. And if I go to Jane and click on handouts, giving it a second to sync. If it's taking a little bit of time, which it is in this example, I would always, you could always go right click, sync, sync this notebook. And there we have it, it's appeared. If I go to Joe, again, hopefully after a few seconds, It's now appeared for Joe, and then just so we're sure, there we go, has appeared for John. And you can see they have now received the same thing that I had inside my teacher only section. From a pupil side, if I go to here, you can see it has appeared in Jane's handouts, and she now has the work. What I will also just show you is that obviously you can, whatever Jane. 
uh, types in this one note. Whatever Jane types into this one note will appear for you to see. To do that online, you have to go to um, edit and browser to allow that to happen. And now you can see there's a cursor. So if we see here, test, we then ha have our typing inside the one note. And if I was to go back to mine and to Jane, to spreadsheets, we can see that test has now appeared. And we also have an initial beside it to show that what you typed in is different from what Jane typed in. And this is her work. And obviously that was yours. So we can start to see that interaction between the two, the ability to obviously give instruction, see what they've written or what they've done, and also the ability to give feedback on this same sheet. Um, I'm going to end the video there. I think there might be another video to come just on a few other tips and tricks we can do with notebook, including um, how to review students' work. But at this point, I think we'll leave it there just so we've been able to create a class notebook through Teams and how to distribute work. Thank you.